So guys, welcome to this next part where we start retargeting animations and step into the first challenges. And for that, what I always do is something like this. So we go here to content characters, mannequin, UE4, meshes. And the reason why I do this is it easily retargets the animations which come with a third person template, like the jock animation to the skeleton from ELS or the, the mannequin skeleton from ELS. And for that, I just delete this one here and replace it with the one from ELS. Replace references. Yes, of course, we know what we're doing. Same for the physics asset. It will not work, so we don't need it. We use the physics asset which comes with ELS. That works perfectly fine with the ragdoll system. Replace. Yes. Save selected. Same for the mesh. I really hate if I have a project which has multiple meshes or skeleton meshes from the mannequin and they're all the same. So I just delete them so that it don't confuse me anymore. And I can easily select them. So replace references, of course. It's the IK retargeter chain settings. Yes, delete this one. Save selected. And if we now delete this folder, this one here, say press delete and confirm it, it says, oh yeah, these assets are still using those references. And I say, oh yeah, that's weird. <laughs> sure, guys, we have forgot something. We need to click on right click and fix up redirectors. I do it in the, you can do it on the content folder or let me make it a little bit bigger on the characters mannequin UE4 folder. That's perfectly fine. It will do the same. And the reason why we have to do this is if we have assets which still reference to other assets like the skeleton or so, and animations always need the skeleton asset. So the engine decided to do some yeah, some links basically or some temporary files. So you only prepare those files for deletion. And if you click here, it will delete those redirectors basically. And then we can also delete a folder quite fine. That's perfectly fine. And yeah, the materials are not useful anymore. I delete them as well. Delete textures as well. Delete. So, <laughs> and now I press always on save all so to make sure everything is saved and I don't have any issues. And normally I would now switch to git and check in the files, but as I decided to do step by step, we will retarget the animations and step into the next challenge. And for that we go to content, advanced locomotion version four and character assets, mannequin skeleton. And here we have the ALS and MPP. And we do a right click and click on retarget animation assets, duplicate and retarget animation blueprint. It will basically retarget all animations we need. And then we go to I IK retargeter and click here on UE4 to UE5 many. And normally, yep, here we see the ALS many and here we do have the new many. And here I like to rename the files. That's why I use this. I will explain it immediately once I have already written down, once I have all written down. And here we search for ALS underscore and replace it with ALS underscore UE5 underscore many underscore. And here you have a preview of the name of the names which will be created in almost any file from ALS you have this prefix ALS underscore. That's why we can rename them here and for me that's very convenient to have to know where are the animations for. So ALS is basically normal mannequin skeleton and ALS UE5 many is for the one which we will use now. And don't forget this step otherwise it will place all the assets on your uh, content folder. We click here on change and we go to characters, mannequins, sorry, mannequins, animations. And here I already have an ALS version 4 folder. You can create one, a new one. I just, it's me, we can delete. No, we cannot delete. Um, we click on here, right click, new folder. And then you can type in this one. If you want to do this, you can freely choose the folder. It's perfectly fine. I use this for convenience here. And then we click on retarget. 
Now it takes a while to process all the data and so on and convert it to the new skeleton and then very important click on save all and save selected so it will save all the files and yeah let me play maybe the role animation is quite good to check so it seems to work quite fine and one setting i always try to confirm is the root motion setting no if you spell it correctly uh, yeah you see enable root motion and yeah it sets the things correctly which another thing which you can also check i think it's an animation the turn animation yes turn animation and here you see some curves in ue4 ue4 we have a bug here so if you retarget them you might not see those smooth curves you might only see straight curves and that's an issue in ue5 a u4 <laughs> i'm confused with the versions um where you have no settings about the constant interpolation or here we have cubic interpolation so this is wrong in ue4 but in ue5 this ik retargeter seems to work quite nicely so yeah that's perfectly fine you should see the same results and yeah this one looks a bit weird already so let's see what is going on here the unmpp so yeah as you see <laughs> it's completely broken and yeah it took me quite some time to figure it out but i will save you now a lot of time and explain you what you need to do and at first we should move this to the left and this one to the right and go to content character assets mannequin and we just select one animation just this one here so that we have both both stuff here uh, my screen is a little bit too small to show you the stuff but we can move this one here to the left and uh, to the right and this one here to the left so we, we don't need a preview to be honest we don't need a preview this one also a bit bigger and the reason why it does not work is the following we have to search for the additive animations and the first one is the lean pose lean pose zero and here we can find uh, try to find the additive animation section and as you see here we have local space and there is no animation set so this is the issue and if we copy this one here and this one here and open it here and do the same additive you see here we have run base pose and of course here's set nothing so what we can do now is run base pose yeah if you type it correctly you will find it and here select this one and save the animation next one will be hopefully on your side you will have the same additive animation settings but i did it multiple times and it's always the same issue so here we have base run base pose run base pose so if you click here on browse to asset what the editor will do is if we make it a little bit bigger it will browse to the asset and select it for us so this is a very convenient way to select the assets and you don't have to type it again so it's very fast and here we also local detail underscore excel and here we open them one by one one by one and click here on this one so it's set correctly next one here same same base balls here it's also run base balls here yes i know it's a painful task but then we get it working it's not that much so we now can control shift s to save all assets so everything is saved and you don't have to click on the save button every time and the next step which is broken is this look forward sweep so here we have look forward sweep here we have n base pose and here you should see nothing yes so n pose 
always select the ones been beneath because ls ue5 many is the one we want to use if you click this on this one here it will do nothing and no error <laughs> sadly but it still shows the one so always choose the one with ue5 many prefix that's why i renamed all the files so it's very convenient to rename them so yeah you might have to do the step multiple times to understand the process but once you get used to it it should be very straightforward the next one we have to find is aim underscore sweep here's the same issue if you open this one no additive base poses set and here we have to search for fine binoculars oh it's really hard <laughs> poses underscore no curves is the thing i think we can try to find yes i would recommend you to add this to the clipboard so if you select it and press ctrl z and here we select the binoculars no curves pose no that was the wrong one as i said you should use the one with the many and here you also browse to asset very important because the next one is also broken as you see here and then you can just click them don't care about the reference frame it's set them internally somehow and what you, you can compare them it should be six and here it should be three so next one is bow aim sweep same same here we search for the animation we type in with the prefix bow and use the second one browse to asset of course set here this causes also the bow aim sweep set this one as well so here you can see bow aim sweep it's yes same frame then the m4 a1 -A sweep it's the same here still broken we are used to it already and we can type in m4 a1 underscore poses it's the second one browse the asset select the next one it's always the same process it's a very annoying process but we will get it working quite soon pistol h1 browse the asset of course <laughs> otherwise it will be broken or it will be we have to retype the stuff here's the same pistol so we don't have to compare them just repeat those steps you can watch me here why i'm doing it so there's no time lapse in this course because i really hate them then guys are doing things very fast and yeah you might lose the stuff so that's why we have to watch me doing the painful task here browse to asset open this one select this one and now we should close the windows that should be all save all so it will ask you for all of these animations which we changed click on save selected and then we delete this many here and introduce a player starting point here and go to word settings and collapse this one we need a new one um, let me quickly check so here we go to advanced locomotion version 4 blueprints character logic and here we have the example implementation and if we go to mannequins here i created a new folder which is called blueprints and click here right click create child blueprint class and move this one here and say give it a proper name ue5 many character bp yeah that's fine character bp open it with a double click get a new new window we move this one here and go to mesh and here we search for many and 
Yeah, this is weird <laughs> because the materials are not properly set up. Click on those buttons here, reset this property to, fill, to default value, and you will have the materials from the new menu. So what about the placement of the feet? Looks quite fine. It's the same size. So here we have the anim class, and we want to use an animation blueprint here. And we can, that's why I use those names. UE5 many, here is it. Click on compile, save, and let's see if we can get it working. You can close this one, we don't need it anymore. Again, click on save all, it asks you for the level update. Yes, of course. And here we have to select the default pawn class. So click on this new blueprint which we have created and click here on use asset, use selected assets from content browser. And if we play, we should see the menu. So everything seems to work as expected, but let me show you that it doesn't. So as you see, the many starts dancing and that's an issue with the IK system. And I want to show you if we have some IKs, we can see it here. So we will handle this in the next part. So here it is. As you see, if I press F8, you can go into fly mode and you see here the IK system is not working. You can also notice if, it, if you press the T key and as you see the traces are not are not on the feed. Normally they are not on the feed. Mm, what we can also see is if I press the X key it goes into yeah ragdoll camera is jittering here a lot I don't know what's going on but this one here <laughs> it's broken down so yeah the physics assets is not correctly set up for ALS from the new many we will also fix this in, in the next session and if I press if I play again mm, you will also notify that we cannot roll only crouch the animations is not are not set up the montages and we have some issues with the mantling system as you see here it does not play the animations and what you can also notify if if the IK system is not working if you run and press the Z key for slow motion this works quite nice but if you jump and if you land you will see and press forward again you will see that the feet go very weird so I will I will press the V key again, so you can see it from the side and do it again for you guys. So you can press the Z key, jump. And here you will see very weird issues with the feed. So yeah, that's an, that's an, a very good yeah, indication that the system is not working as expected. And you can also see it here. So we have a lot of errors. <laughs> This is a material error, we will also solve this one. And here we go into mannequins, animations, ALS. And here you will get some warnings here. As you see here, the virtual bones are not set up on the skeleton. We will also solve this one and write custom tooling there. So yeah, as you see, there's some still some stuff left. Oh, what I forgot is getting the testing the overlay states. So if you go into full screen again with F F11 and press the Q key, you will see. Uh, ah yeah, there we see it. So here, <laughs> overlay states are not working as expected. So hands tight, we don't see it. Rifle is not there, pistol is not there, it's still on the ground. And one issue for that is that the IK bones are not correctly set up. What we have already seen and maybe if we play an animation, let's see if we can if I can show this to you as well. So where it is. Maybe this one here. Yeah. <laughs> so we make it visible again. So uh, you now have a lot of <laughs> stuff which you need to understand. But these are the techniques I use to debug the system. Bonds, few all. And uh, here, 
here you see it. If I click on this one, that's the IK hand L bone. And this is not correctly set up. It's completely wrong. Normally it should be different. So if we if we use the same, uh, if we try to open the same animation on the stock LS. So let me remove this one. So it was poses. So here, move this to the side again, move this to the side again. And if you press spacebar, you can stop the play of the animations. Okay. And here you see if we go, which was it? Mm, let me quickly check on the other screen where it is. Oh, <laughs> it's still here. Sorry. It's the, the first frame, basically first frame. And here we also go to the first frame. Here you see the bones are completely different on a different location. And we will have to fix this as, fix this as well. And you can also see maybe, yeah, if you, I think this one, is it not? It's the pelvis bone. Then it's the IK hand bone. So yeah, this is not on the correct spot. So here, and it's very hard to see, but I think from this, uh, yeah, from here, you can see it. It's not, it's not in the hand, it's completely off. Same here. Here it's properly in the hand. And that's why you can place proper uh, props correctly with the IK system. And yeah, I think this session is quite long now. I will stop it here and <laughs> you have to process the information. But you should see now what is wrong. The IK bones are wrong, not correctly retargeted. The yeah, that's why the IK system does not work. The hand, the yeah, the hand attachment system will not work. The root motion animations will not be played, and so on. And we will fix this in the next sessions. So thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.